Hi everyone, welcome back to another DIY tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be making this uh, notch of color pattern. Okay, so I made a community post and I asked you guys to vote for your next tutorial. Wish you guys voted for this particular uh, top. So it got a lot of vote than the rest of it. So today I'm going to show you how I made a pattern for it. So if you're interested, if this is something you want to do, watch this video to the end. And um, if you're new to my channel, you are welcome. And if you're my returning subscriber, you are also welcome. If you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe and then don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you will get notified when another video will come in. So I'm going to break this video into two sections, the pattern drafting tutorial and the cutting and sewing tutorial. Okay, so stay tuned so uh we're going to go into the pattern drafting tutorial so see you soon so guys the first thing we're going to start drafting is the back pattern okay so i'm going to start drafting out the back pattern before we we'll draft the front pattern so this is all you need to draft your pattern i have my tape rule my scissors my two marker pen and my french curve ruler okay so the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to create the starting point, which I'm going to use as a shoulder line, okay? So after creating the uh, shoulder line, I'm going to create the uh, center back so that I can use as a guideline. This particular paper is not straight. The edges is not straight. So I need to create the uh, center back line so that I can use it as a guideline. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do right here. So after creating this uh, center back line, the next thing now we are going to start marking uh, my vertical measurement, okay? The vertical measurement are the ones that you take from your shoulder to your bust point, from your bust point to your waistline and all of that, okay? So now that I'm done with this part here, the next thing I'm going to label this starting point here, shoulder, okay? So that you will know that this is the shoulder line, okay? And here is going to be my center back, all right? So that is my center back and that is my shoulder line. So the next measurement I'm going to be marking is my chest line. I'm going to place my tape from my shoulder line here and then I'm going to mark it down. So from my shoulder to my chest line is 8 inches here. I'm going to repeat the line twice, so that uh, the measurement twice so that I can have a straight line connecting my chest line, okay? So the next measurement is going to be my shoulder to my bust line so from my shoulder to my bust line is uh, 9.5 inches okay so i'm also going to repeat the line also twice so that i can have a straight line connecting my bust line okay so the next measurement is from my shoulder to my under bust so if you don't know how to get your underbars, okay, once if you know the length from your shoulder to your bust line, from that your bust line, you're going to mark three inches below, you will get your underbars line, okay? So from my shoulder to my underbars line is 12.5 inches. So I'm going to also repeat the line here twice so I can have a straight line connecting my underbars, okay? So I have done creating my underboss line and also I have a uh, label all them all the lines. So the next measurement I will be taking is going to be the top length or the waistline. So my waistline is 17 inches, but I added one inch to that 17. So my top length I'm going to be marking is going to be 18 inches. So it's just a little bit one inch uh, before my waistline. Okay. So at this point, you're going to determine how long you want your top to be or how cropped you want your top to be. You can use it as your half length, 
which is going to be cropped or you can use it as a gown or you can use it as a top or, or your hip line so whatever your preference is use it at this moment okay and now i'm going to connect this line now so this i'm going to label it a top length or my waistline okay i'm going to label it top length slash waistline okay so that you will not get confused okay so now that i'm done from this part now the next thing now we'll do is to move on to the uh, shoulder line this is going to be the horizontal measurement that we are going to be marking okay so my shoulder divided by two is 14 inches so on the shoulder line i will mark my half of my shoulder line which is seven inches okay on the chest line i'm going to repeat this line twice the repeat marking my shoulder measurement twice so that i can have a straight line connecting my armhole line okay so i mark seven inches there at my chest line so the next thing i will do now i will connect this uh this armhole line now with a straight ruler so this are my armhole line now okay so now that i'm done from this part the next on still on the shoulder line where i'm going to be marking my neck width okay my neck width is, is 2.5 inches so from the armhole line i'm going to mark one inch below to create my shoulder slope so after marking the one edge one inch for the slope i'm going to get a straight roller and connect it to bit to the neck width of 2.5 here okay just like you see me doing now okay so the next thing now i'm going to mark my neck depth my neck depth is going to be one inch so this is the back pattern okay like i said earlier this is the back pattern so the back pattern the neck depth is one inch so after marking the one inch i will get my french curve rule to connect my my neckline so here is my back neckline so the next thing i will do is to find the midpoint between here and uh, the yeah to find the midpoint so from where my tape begins to where the tape top which is uh, on the ch uh, chest line is seven inches okay so i'm going to divide it by two to find the midpoint between this line so i got 3.5 inches so on this midpoint i'm going to mark 0 0.5 inch inward just like that and then i will use my i'm going to connect it so that you can see what i did here okay so yeah and then i will turn to the straight line to connect it from this point before i will create the ample part or the curvy part i need to insert my bust circumference my ramble circumference is 8.5 inches my ramble is divided by 4 is 8.5 inches i mean okay so now i will now connect create the curve to create my ample curve okay i hope this explanation is clear i hope you are on the i hope you you are catching up so i also going ahead to level it armhole line okay so you know this pattern doesn't need uh, that we don't need that on this pattern this is kind of a free a free blouse or a free shirt so you don't need uh, that here so when you look at it on the picture uh the original picture it look fitted but when i look deeper i didn't see any that on it so yes we don't need to add that here okay so the next thing i will do now is to just repeat my boss uh, circumference the quarter of my boss circumference at my boss line and then my waistline is 28 so divided by 4 is 7 inches okay but i'm going to add 0 0.5 inch for each allowance okay so that is 7.5 inches so i just mark it at my waistline and the next thing i will just use my french curve just the way you see me doing the way i placed it and connect it at this point if you're if you're very good with your free hand then you use your free hand to connect all your points together okay so the next i will do is to add my uh swing allowance which is uh, 0 0.75 i use 0 0.75 here for my swing allowance okay you can use more than that and the reason why i use 0 0.75 this blouse generally it doesn't have a lining the only lining it has is at the front and it's facing okay it's not all the way all through it's just the facing at the front to create the lapel okay so now that we are done 
uh, from the back. Basically, we are done from the back rather. So I just labeled this part for you to know how many inches I use to for my sewing allowance. That is why I marked them. Then the rest of it, I will add all my joining when I'm going to cut on the pattern. Okay, when I'm going to cut it on the fabric, like my joining allowance, the lower side and the armhole and the shoulder. Okay. So now that we are done from the back pattern, the next, get a fresh paper, okay, so that we can draft, start drafting out the front. So here is the paper that I'm going to use for my front pattern, okay? So we are going to begin now to draft the front pattern, okay? And the first thing you need to consider by drafting the front, you need to consider two things. The first one is to create the collar, okay, to extend the collar. And then the, the second one is to consider the front lapel, okay, from this part. So what it means now is that I'm going to be marking um, at six inches from the upper part and also from the mid point. From this point here down below, we're going to be marking six inches. From here inward, we're going to mark, I'm going to be marking five inches, okay. So that is what you need to know about drafting the front pattern, okay. So now that you understand this, so the next thing I'm going to do here is to start marking, uh, creating allowance for this lapel and also for the collar above, okay? So what I will do now, I'm going to mark 5 inches inward to create for a lapel uh, allowance. So from the upper part, I'm going to mark six inches for the collar, okay, for the collar extension. So this line now is going to become my shoulder line and the straight line here is going to become my center line okay for the collar and also for the blazer part from this uh, from the center front okay so here is the center front okay and here now is going to serve as the shoulder all right so now that we are done with this now so the next thing that we're going to start by uh start inserting the vertical measurement just like what i did to the uh, back okay so there is nothing different it's still the same process okay so i'm going to be marking my uh, vertical measurements now i'm going to be marking my uh, chest line which is uh, eight inches okay and my bust line is uh, 9.5 and uh, my under bust is going to be 12.5 and um, my top length is going to be 18 inches or my waistline 18 inches so let me repeat this line so that we can connect all this line together So the next thing now uh, I'm going to do now is to start imputing my horizontal measurement. Uh, the shoulder is seven, and I'll repeat it here also so that I can have a straight line. So remember the front, uh, the neck width also is two point five, okay, and the neck depth is going to be three inches. The neck depth is three inches and then uh, before i will do anything i need to mark one inch here for my shoulder slope from the armhole line here okay so i will connect it 
to meet with my neck width from the armhole line to my neck width okay so the next thing i will use my french curl to create my neckline So the next, I will find the midpoint between here and here, okay? So that I can now uh, mark my armhole line or to create my armhole curve. So I have seven inches divided by two is 3.5 inches, okay? And then I'm going to proceed by marking 0 0.5 inch inward, all right? So, um, yeah. So before I will create my armhole curve, I need to start inserting my horizontal measurement. So my my bus, my round bus circumference, my round bus circumference is 8.5 inches. Okay, 8.5 inches right here, and um, I'm going to repeat the same thing also at my bus line. Okay, so let me level this part here. I have here our uh, top length slash waistline okay we have under boss and we have the boss line and uh, we have a chest line okay so yeah hope you understand now so the next thing i'm going to do um i have marked my round boss uh, circumference and the next is going to be my waist so i'm adding 0 0.5 inch for my uh is uh, for my waist for ease allowance okay like i said earlier that this uh pattern does not have a dart and also it doesn't have lining okay so yes you don't need to add a dart to this so yeah just follow what i'm doing you should be able to get something nice like mine okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to connect all this marking these lines together so now that i'm done from this part now I will create my armhole curve. I'm going to place my straight roller this way. So I hope you understand this. I hope this is clear for you to follow up. So now that we are done with the vertical measurement, the, the major thing that we need to do now is to work on the collar. Okay. So before you create the collar stand for the front, the first thing you need to do, you need to know the run the run circumference of the back neck uh, neckline. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the run neck of the the back uh, pattern. So I'm going to be taking the measurements to see how many inches I I got. So I'm going to use the the length or how many inches I got. I'm going to use it to extend the collar stand from the front. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's take the measurement. So what I got here is 2.9 inches. So I'm going to approximate it to three inches. So that is what I'm going to use to create my color stand. Okay. I'm going to approximate it to three inches. I will use it to create my color stand. So that is what I'm going to mark over this point. So to connect the front neckline, I'm going to come to the waist, uh, the neck width. Okay, I'm going to mark 0 0.25 inward. So here is a 0 0.25 inward. And then to determine your breakpoints, some you can start your breakpoint from your underboss or from the above your chest line or for your chest line. It depends how you want it, but I'm going to be using my bust line to create my breakpoint. Okay, so I'm going to be marking one inch outward okay to create my break point so this is my one inch here and i'm also going to extend it also to the waistline i'm also going to mark the one inch over here so the next thing i will get my straight ruler and connect this uh this uh, dot to create uh, a line here so this is just like a a button allowance i will call it so now that I'm done from here, I'll also, I'll let me extend this line out so yes, so that we'll know what is happening here. So the next thing I will do from this break point here, I will get my straight ruler. I will connect it. It's where I mark that 0 0.25. That is where the original neckline is going to begin, okay? So I will place my tape, uh, my, my straight ruler this way. 
I'll connect it all the way from the up to the point where my break point is going to stop, okay? So the next point I'm going to, from the, uh, for the collar, I'm going to mark the three inches. Remember when I take the background uh, neck, which uh, the neck width uh, measurement, I got 2.9, so I approximate it to three inches. So I just marked the three inches there, okay? So now you're going to determine how wide you want your collar to be, okay? So uh, this is the part where you need to make that decision for yourself. My own collar, the width of my collar is going to be 3.5 inches. So I'm going to get my straight ruler and I'm going to place it in a slant move, okay? Not straight like this. It has to be slant, okay? And then you're going to place it like that and you're going to connect a straight line first. And you need to connect this line straight first before you take your measurement, okay? So I'm going to place my tape in this way and then I'm going to mark my 3.5 inches from this part, okay? I'm going to mark 3.5 inches. So afterward, I need to connect it. But before I would do this connection, I need to extend my lapel first, okay? This is the point where my lapel, I need to do extension for my lapel. Do you understand? I need to connect my lapel first before we do any other illustration. So I'm going to extend this line out from the neckline, okay? From the neck depth. The front neck depth is what I'm talking about. So from this part here where I extend it out here, I'm going to mark the, the width of my lapel. At this point, how wide do you want your lapel to be? Mine, I want my lapel to be at 3 inches. That is how wide I want the lapel to be. Okay. So now that I mark this 3 inches. So the next, I'm going to mark 2 inches inward for the width of my lapel. That's the extension of my lapel. Okay. So here is the 2 inches here. So the next, I'm going to connect from this part here to meet with uh, to my break point, okay? You can use a straight line or you can use your free hand at this point. Either you use your str uh, straight or you make it as curvy, just like the way I'm going to do mine here. Mine is not going to be that curvy, curvy, so I'm just going to make it a little bit of curve, okay? So, yeah. So I'm going to leave it at this point like this. So yeah, that is my lapel. So the next thing after connecting this part, so I'm going to come to this point where I mark that two inches here, okay? I'm going to place my tape in a slant way, not straight, okay? Just watch and see, and then I will mark 1.5 inches like that, okay? So I'm going to mark 1.5 inches. At this point, if you want it to be longer, this the collar, if you want the collar to be longer or if you want it to be shorter, this is your preference. So I'm going to be making use of 1.5 and afterward, I'm going to connect it like this, okay? So after this point now, I will now play, uh, connect, uh, just watch, okay? From where I mark that 3.5 from the collar, the neck width, the collar width, okay? And then I'll connect it this way with the cuff, with, the, with my French cuff rule in this manner. As you can see, is taking shape already so this is my collar and and uh, so from this point here okay i'm going to mark 0 0.5 inch inward i use i want to use my blue marker but i didn't know that the blue marker is too bold so the color the inch coming uh, coming out from it is too much so but yeah that was the big mistake i do so for the neck the collar to sit proper for the neck weight so you need to do this extension okay so you're going to mark uh, 0 0.5 inch inward like so, okay? Just like that. Then you will use your French curve rule or whatever thing that you use to create your neck uh, line. Then you use it to connect it, blend it to meet with the original uh, neck line, okay? So if you're very good with your free hand, I'm trying to use my free hand at this point because I don't want to mess up. Because whatever, anything you do, any error that you did, at this point is going to affect when you are going to join your collar to your dress at the end of the day okay so basically this is my neckline and uh, this is my collar rather this is my collar so yeah so we are done drafting okay one more thing there, man. i've done drafting so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to be adding my sewing allowance from the side okay so afterward then we are going to cut okay so first of all, I'm going to start by cutting out the front pattern, okay? 
uh, I actually forgot to add my sewing allowance so I'm going to stop here so that I can add my sewing allowance so my sewing allowance is going to be 0 0.75 remember like I said there is no lining on this dress okay there's no lining on this blouse it's just um it just uh cut direct uh yeah there is no lining so i'm going to add 0 0.75 here for joining allowance and uh, after then then i will cut so this is the only part that i added allowance okay but the rest of it i'm going to be adding them when i'm cutting it on the fabric So please watch carefully to see the part where I'm cutting out, okay? So I'm cutting out from the new neckline that I just uh, drew. So, and um, yeah. So I'm going to label this one collar. And also I will indicate that this part, it has to be cut on fold, okay? This part has to be cut on fold. And then you're going to add 0 0.5 inch all over this part, okay? and uh now we're going to cut from here and also i'm also going to indicate here that this part you need to add your 0 0.5 so i'm going to level this one front pattern and add 0 0.5 here add 0 0.5 all this part that you see me marking you will need to add your 0 0.5 inch when you're going to cut but from the lower part you're going to add 1.5 inches so that you can fold in the the hemming part okay so here is my back pattern also i'm going to be cutting it also remember you're going to be adding your the same thing allowance that you add to the front you're also going to add the same allowance to the back okay so yeah basically that is it for this tutorial i hope you learned something new from this channel today if you do please i would like to hear your feedback i want to know if we're able to make this pattern easily if you understand the pattern the way i teach if you do please i want to know and if there is anything you want me to make any difference please let me know on the comment section okay thank you so much for watching have a blessed day have a good morning have a good evening wherever you are watching this from and uh, please help me share this video so it, uh, other people can reach and if you're yet to subscribe subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notification okay i will see you on my swing tutorial bye